this is the purpose. Try new shit. Find what's weak, fix it. Okay. Bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in nice and tight. Ah, cramp. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> oh shit. Your pink eye and the minion mode together just sent me off. <laughs> Do I need these goggles? There you go. <laughs> right, we're back. We're back. Have you seen have they seen you on the channel yet? Have they? No. Yeah, no. It's Jake. From the black country. I've got to stop doing that. It's super anti I don't really anti, speak like anti that. No one really speaks like that. It's just terrible. But today, what we're we doing, well, other than obviously what you just saw happening, eating, this is gonna be my pre-workout fuel. So we've got um, what the fairies have made me, and by fairies I mean the bobster. <laughs> what have we got? What was that? If you just do <laughs> the stage pose in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So we've got... Um, you've got Irish oats, because they're the best ones. Ooh. Racist. Made, right, with, yeah. <laughs> made with almond coconut milk because we didn't have enough regular milk. <laughs> berries. But the berries that were reduced down on the hob. Yeah, so it's frozen berries. Do but they you just stick them in the microwave and they look like this. And they're super, super low on macros as well. So if you are watching the carbs like I am, you get per 100 grams carbohydrate of the frozen berries. It's like five or six grams of carbohydrate only. So amazing volumizer mm. and tasty goodness. And Can't then I've just thrown in some pecans as well there to increase the fats. So it's gonna be a nice slow burn, glycemic index. High means quick, low means slow. And we're obviously using some slower carbs here because it's gonna take us about an hour to drive to Barbell. But today at Barbell, we're gonna be doing a fight specific workout. We're gonna take Lex through exactly that, a fight specific workout. A fight specific workout yep. that you can incorporate into your own kind of um, high intensity style of training. So every exercise we do here, you should be able to incorporate in Absolutely. your own way into your training to create versatility and functionality. Every single one of them has great carryover. That, and that's the idea of everything we're doing here is something that um, works in the real world, but it's still gonna help build and maintain that muscle plus core strength, stability, and all that postural aid and all helping with certain imbalances. So my voice here is gonna literally, we're gonna do it raw. That sounded very really <laughs> Why is it always going gay? The last video was... I'll leave you boys to it. <laughs> Definitely not more homoerotic than covering yourself in dark brown tan, putting on small pants and standing under big lights in front of other people. <laughs> Jay competes. <laughs> and so this is what you're gonna see. Um, there are gonna be some strength and conditioning sessions that we have previously filmed before. They're gonna be popping up alongside and they were done with Jake previously. So we, we recorded a load of those back to back over a number of days. So they're gonna be brought out to show you guys how to take some weird movements. That you w There's no way you would think to do these movements if you weren't showing them. And Jake being a strength and conditioning coach mm -hmm. shows me these weird things. Exactly. As we get closer to me requiring to be more fight specific, more fight fit, this is more of the stuff that we're going to be doing. This is what we're going to be doing. 100%. As I go through this workout, Jake's is going to be by the side of me, telling me what to do, correcting my postural errors. So these are things that you all need to pay attention to during this workout. Listen to what he's saying. Watch me cry. Bear in mind, all I've been doing at the moment is bag work and some slowly bringing that functionality into the body that we've shown. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be a, an eye opener, isn't it? Yeah, massively, massively. Right, <laughs> we're going to spin to the gym, Jay. Okay, which way? We're going to spin to the gym. It's your choice. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to do this way. Oh, I'll go right. that way then. So, we'll, um, when we get to the gym, that's when we're going to hit our pre because if we hit it now, we've got an hour's drive, redundant. So, timings are important. Ready? Fucking right. good drive, though. It is a freaking good drive. Yeah, Jay, get some of the drive. It's okay. cool. So, we're going to spin to the drive, then to the gym. Go! This, this is why we listen to this, Jay. <laughs> Music video. Old school rap. When you get to this So we're here and we're at Barbell. Ready to rock and roll. It's pretty busy for a Sunday, fair play to everyone getting in. And we are about to go through warm up and a raw functional workout with Jake as discussed. But first things first, it's time for. Cracking this. Ah. 
Why am I stuck by a giant fan? Because you imagine on a bike for four minutes. On a what? On a bike. It's a bike. We're getting on a cycle. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh right. First minute, super low intensity, and then it's going to gradually increase it, increase it, increase it. By the end of that fourth minute, we should be getting a little bit more. That's all we're going to do. Right. So you can see we're already starting off with something the body's not used to. This is definitely, this is why when you start feeling like easy stuff starts to knack you and you think, well, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. No, everybody sucks when they start something new. And this entire session to me is gonna be completely new. My entire theory on this is I'm gonna suck at everything we do today, but in a few weeks time when we come back, there'll be a noticeable difference. Won't the Jake? Absolutely. Also, I'm wearing spandex. Oh, spandex. Do, 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 do. Hashtag Gymshark, link in the description. Fires are already burning. It's all right. Not gonna lie. Keep it this intensity then, don't. Yeah, keep okay. it this I've gone up by five RPMs. Yeah. I'm at three minutes, 30. My thighs are burning. Lungs are starting to burn. Woo! Do you know what I do feel? My right leg burning more than my left. And that's that problem with my rear chain. Woo! All things that you should pay attention to. Okay. Bugger off. <laughs> Three, two, oh fuck you! Oh. No, I want to lie down now, Jay. Uh, wrist work, forearm stuff. I normally like to interlace this within our work, which we do as well. But we're going to do some real quick, specific stuff to begin with. Uh, and then we'll crack on with the rest of our session. This? Yeah, I'll show you what we're doing with it, okay? All I'm going to do is touch the floor with the ends, keeping a full grip on the handle, okay? The more you pull it away, small movement like that is going to make it so much harder. Five reps on each side, and then you're going to hold it there, you're going to touch it to the floor, bring it back up. The floor, bring it back up. Can you do this with a, with a dumbbell? If you don't have this, hammer? Uh, easy bar. Easy bar, curl. Remember, this is still warm up, it's just warm up. So the whole point of this is I'm trying to get him to squeeze his glutes and keep his rib cage down. The whole point of that is I'm trying to get him to not extend. So extending is that and I'm trying to anti-extend. That's exactly what we're going for, that's the key. All the way down my back. But you can do so Yeah, I had a shoulder problem if you remember, I've had this a long time. You have a tendon that wraps up and over the shoulder, which connects to the back. So you can have a shoulder impingement and pain because of a messed up tendon in here. I think that's what I'm feeling there. Yeah. So I'm keeping that rib cage down, squeezing that glute and then reaching up. It's pulling all the way down there. All these little signs and things should be what you're looking out for to be able to tell a specialist as to, so they can source where the pain's coming from because we have radial pain. So you might feel pain in your shoulder but it can be coming from a different area. We've talked about that before. So yeah, just a little one. See my range of movement is nowhere near yours already. Like that's my. We know that from a previous video. I've got upper back tightness. You can really see it here. The variation we've just gone through then, uh, we're working so hips and glutes like we were before, but we're also working into upper back rotation. So we're going to get kind of get a double whammy there. I'm wrecked already. <laughs> this is a warm up. 
So I think we're moving into some box jumps now. And for me, I've got notoriously tight hip flexors, groin. So, if you really want to work those out, make sure you're not going to pop anything. That's right, all crotch. What a view. <laughs> Zoom in there. Yeah, they get that gusset detail. <laughs> So that's the warm ups done. Um, obviously, I focus a little bit more on hip, um, the groin hip flexors at the end there, uh, but most people have those areas that are tight. So now we're moving in, warm ups done. This is the actual workout. Everything that you just saw warm up wise was just like one or two sets, just until it starts to feel a bit supple or open itself up. Uh, now, basically, Jake's gonna take me through each exercise. We're gonna be doing back to back superset work. Yep. So we're doing kind of supersets, moving from one exercise. Now, you're gonna be doing way less reps than you think. So the difference between bodybuilding and this is we're moving from one dynamic to another, but both of them being um, beneficial to one another. Uh, so like if you're gonna work chest, it's ideal to work it with back because they work together to stabilize. So you always wanna try and benefit like one superset with another benefit. So don't like superset one bicep exercise with another bicep exercise. You wanna superset a bicep exercise with a tricep. Does that make sense? Yeah? This is my playlist. Let's grip in Spotify, search fuck shit up, but it's spelt on the screen now, F star C K S H exclamation mark T. First move we've got, search a squat. The bar's gonna sit in the crux of your elbow. It's gonna be working upper back, trunk, and legs. This is how it looks like. So a lot of these movements I'm very new to, so we're gonna play it cut, we're gonna play it air on the side of caution, keep the weights minimal, see how the movement feels. Obviously, again, we're working, everything here is working through problematic things that I have with the body and making that technique the solid foundation. And from there, once your technique improves, then the weight goes up. But weight is all relevant. You don't need to lift heavy to get big. All you need to do is challenge the muscle, whether that's lightweight or heavyweight, it's relevant to you, your position, your condition, your uh, ability to go through a movement correctly. What's that? What's that, Jake? A, a five? A five? A, a five? God damn it! So we're looking at five reps, and then we're going to move on to box jumps, which is going to be a seated, uh, seated box jumps. You start in a seated prone position, then jump up onto the box, and then softly off of your edge. And again, we're only looking for. Only two reps on that, and it's like cycle around how many sets? Oh. <laughs> Mime workouts. <laughs> Why do we do such low reps on the things like box jumps? So all we're doing that for is to potentiate this exercise. We don't need to do fives and sixes and that. We really so don't. that is basically the the box jump is basically to keep the body moving through a range of motion. So then when you come back here, we get better and better as we come Great. back set to set. This is the one we're after. Clever sneaky bastards. Right, the hardest thing is holding my chest. Yeah, big break, brace for your belly from the push that belly up. Up. Good. Up. Good. So you see the box jump? Feet about hip width apart, you can use your arms to do whatever you feel most comfortable with. Yeah. We're not trying to land in like a deep squat position, we're trying to land as tall as possible. Um, and don't jump down, either step down or like use your hands to lower yourself down. Two reps. About 10 seconds in between each. Really? Yep. So from here and then just launch. Yep. Easy. And don't jump down. Don't jump down. Rule number two, listen to your coach. There we go, listen to that type of, I don't know if I'm breathing out. The only aspect of that we're interested in is explosivity. That's what we're trying to potentiate this to that. Ah, okay. The, the jumping down, that's eccentric loading, that's heavy, heavy loading, savage, don't savage. We don't want that. This is something that we never do through bodybuilding. This is the stuff that's going to keep us functional and improving. So we're kind of, is that like an active, almost like an active rest? Or, no? No, I call it potential. No. potential. Don't listen to me, listen to him. I've said, no, let's put a fucking five on. No ego, but I know putting a 10 on would have challenged me a bit too much. I could have let my ego go, hey man, you can do the 10. Yeah, I can do the 10, but doing it right, I don't know. So increment up, lose the ego, work the body. Good. 
screw. Ooh. Even tight. So what we're after, trying to keep the bar in close. You want to magnetise those hands, pull them into you. The bar's going to want to pull you forward. Keep it upright. Ooh. Good. Ooh. That ten, that ten would have definitely been too much. Good. 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 Ooh. Nice. I'm sorry, it's happening a minute. So imagine now someone's shooting for a takedown, you're going for double underhooks. This is exactly what we're going for. Oh. Oh. Come on. Half the shit in this thing is confidence. But this is it, try new things, you're gonna be scared. Like I said, everybody is shit when they first start something. You're never gonna get better unless you start. Right, we're gonna do barbell glute bridge and then a single leg uh, reverse lunge RDL combo as our superset. Translated, we're doing a squeezy bum thing and then a lunge. Oh, bitch pad. Bitch pad. Bitch pad. The only acceptable use for a bitch pad. <laughs> So there's two different hip extension variations that you may have seen. Hip thrust, glute bridge. Hip thrust is on a bench, glute bridge is from the floor. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the bar on our hips. I'm gonna be driving through my heels. They get my feet gonna be quite close to my bum. Um, chin down and eyes stay forward through your knees the entire time until you hit full lockout and on the way back down. I know how to do these, I just wanted to make Jake do them. <laughs> <laughs> feet a bit close towards the bum. There. Okay, now you can play about with these positions, but ideally there, and you can toe them out a little bit. You want to feel it mainly glutes, a little bit of hamstring. Okay. okay. If it's the other way around, we need to do some adjusting. Perfect. Eight reps. So Lex was saying he felt it more in his hamstrings rather than his glutes, so we made a few adjustments. We pulled his heels closer towards his bum and then towed his feet slightly out. As soon as he did that, he was like, wow. More massive difference. So obviously I've got that lazy left glute, so if you have a similar thing where you're not feeling the glutes fire, that's brilliant. Okay, what's up next? Pick your weaker side first, we'll go with that. Reverse lunge, knee to the floor, knee over ankle, hip over knee. I'm gonna bring myself tall, touch the floor with that foot, and I'm gonna go into a single leg RDL. Back to there, that's rep number one. One, touch, lead. Two. You're gonna see a real wobble on this one. Real wobble. wobble and you'll wobble, notice wobble. as well, it's a lightweight, we're only using 10 kilos, but it'll still be a challenge. Six reps on each leg. How many? Six on each leg. Oh, that's... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> savage Fucking combo. hell. That's savage. Oh. So you can really see the instability on that left side. That's my weaker side. Now let's see what the right's like. I reckon this is going to be a completely different story. Oh fuck! So unstable. I feel like I'm really kicking. Yeah. Real bad. If I try and keep that straight, I literally can't do it. Like. So rather than sort of folding at the hips, think about hinging the hips so when you're there, push back, push back, and then bring it in. This is exactly what we're talking about. There's a real fundamental problem when the mechanics on that side, and that is all down to that left-hand side glute not firing, <laughs> and all the stabilizing muscles are not working in synergy with one another. One side is dominant over the other, and that's what's causing this real issue. So this is the exact reason we're doing this stuff, to find these problems and fix them. If I'm strong at something, then we're gonna load the weight up. If I'm weak at something and shit, we're gonna pull the weight down and we're gonna improve it. We're not gonna ignore it. This is the issue a lot of people have, is they ignore a weakness and focus on the strength. That's not gonna make you better. You have to focus on the weaknesses and apply more depth and tension to the ones that you're already strong at. But when it's weak, you need to pull back, you need to adjust, you need to reset, and you need to rebuild. And I promise you, 
do that three months down the line even three weeks down the line you will see a massive difference in your body development in the way you feel when you do exercises and even your confidence levels no girlfriend's going to complain about you doing this exercise ah, all in the hips it's exercise it's exercise so did you see common roll Exactly what we're working, we're trying the same movement pattern, exactly the same. So this is gonna work glutes, hammies, it's gonna work that muscle, but this is gonna have that progression where we can then enlist this in class for firing those hips to get out from underneath when you're on the mats, or even driving hips in, putting weight across through the body, um, driving knees through in tight clinches. So many, so many benefits. And you can impress the missus or the mister. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare judge someone's sexuality. You thrust that way. Yeah, I'm gonna stare you straight in the <laughs> eyes. Two. Nice. Just good. Oh. Hips, hips, hips. Good. Oh, a bit of wobble. Oh, fuck me. Fuck off, let's come on. Come on, one more. Oh, one more, one more. I want it fucking good. One more. Concentrate, come on. Don't care about the range, nice and control. Oh. Come on. Toes, oh. squeeze, oh. hips. There we go. Ah. Good work. Oh, fuck off. Let's go. Good. Stay with it, stay with it. Good. Ah. Oh. Good. Good. Oh, you're so rich. Oh, good. Tap down, hips back first. There we go. Oh, much better. Much better. Finish on a good one. That's it. Control. Oh. Good. Oh. Fuck me. Oh. That's fucking humbling. Oh. So this, this exercise doesn't have a name, it's kind of like a reactive Palov hold. Uh, half kneeling position, it's developing rotational power, that's all we're interested in. And if they don't have what we're going to use, alternatives will be? Uh, a normal banded or cable Palov press, which we'll show up. Yeah. Really, really, really good. Rib cage down. When you're reaching over, I want you to imagine that that stays true, and yeah. you're rotating through there, you're not twisting here. So rip. Yeah. How many reps? Five reps. Five reps. Rip. Try not to overcompensate. Everything straight line. Everything stays straight line. That's it. How high are my hands? Chest high. There you go. Good. One more. Stabilising back down. A little bit more rest in between each rep. One more. Oh, wicked. Woo. So we've done these before with Lex with a higher rep. We're going to change the emphasis. We're doing only five reps. The first rep is going to be a slow eccentric, holding the ball. He's going to release it, fire himself back up, and then do four more reps. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Hold this in tight. You're going to come down slow, 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 straight off those legs as soon as you get to parallel. Use that to fire yourself back up. How many reps? Five, six. And then you're doing four reps. So one slow eccentric, slow, four reps. Four, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. What I really want to emphasize is as soon as you drop that ball, you ping back up. Okay. Really trying to utilize that. Good. Keep that in nice and tight. Ah, cramp. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> oh shit. Stretch it out. Oh. No, I'd like to tear it and let it fire up into my butt cheeks. Are you faking the cramp just for effect? Yeah, that was pure, yeah, fake, all fakery this, mate. Okay. Yeah. This is just so that I can show my gusset stretch. <laughs> Monkey and round. Oh, it's like, it's like an exorcist movie. <laughs> That's how normal people use this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> Go! There we go, four more. <laughs> Easy. Money. 
fuck you rep in there. <laughs> yeah, and then just... There we go. That's it. Better. Oh, so good. Nice. Zooming my legs a bit closer and try and control the fucker a bit more. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Slow, 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 slow. Go! Such lightweight, such simple movements when you integrate them properly together become a completely new test for the body and workout. And this is what I mean. There's, there's a way you could even do this just in home gyms, just adapting. I know some of these seem complicated, but just think of ways of adapting them. Think about what Jake's been saying about what we're trying to hit, how we're trying to hold the body, and then just keep those main points and it's just as necessary. Onward. <laughs> And then I'm going to do the round bit and then hold it like that. Okay, eight to ten more. So, what we're doing here is a mechanical drop set. We've done the exact movement with the negative, now we're doing it with body weight, and now we're assisting it. So, we're making the movement easier, but doing more reps to finish him off. That's nice. I love it when I struggle. I love it when I'm not good at something because it means immediately there's progression to be made. It means immediately if I stick at it, I'm gonna see progress, I'm gonna see gains. And more than anything, it means you're gonna see better muscle, more muscle development, and more detail in those muscles. So for those of you that want that tighter, grainier, harder look, this is the shit you need to be incorporating in some form. Maybe not as in depth if you're still saying the bodybuilding, but you need to be integrating these type of movements in. Because that's going to work the finer muscles, it's going to work stabilizers and all that together. Creates that deep sinewy look. Plus, you're going to remain healthy for longer. And time is our friend. You lose time, you lose progression. So we need to stay healthy. We stay healthy, we maintain our time, we maintain our time, we keep going, we keep progressing. So the last superset we've got, uh, dumbbell toe and calf raise with equal parts grip to weight. So he's gonna raise his heels, raise his toes, but he's gonna hold the dumbbell on its top end like that, rather than holding it like that. We're pairing that with uh, an adductor side bridge, which we'll show you after. So this is an adductor focused side bridge. Normally a side bridge is just gonna work sort of our obliques, but we're also working our adductors to really complex advance on a side bridge. Uh, swap sides. Halfway. <laughs> Two, one, and relax. Oh, fuck me. Oh. So with these supersets, they're um, kind of counterparts, they're not really linked to one another, so we can go from one to the other, from one to the other on this one. Away you go, Lex. So when you're checking a kick and you raise your toes up, you get that muscle in front of your shin that raises up, that's exactly what we're doing with this. So that whole point of raising our toes is exactly what we're trying to do. That hits every fucker. Anyone with any kind of like hip instability issues, training the adductors, basically the inside of your groin is a great way to sort of, uh, sort of target in that. To the groin gods, please release my groin from your grasp. Allah, baby Jesus, yeah. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Help me Tom Cruise, use your wizardry. 
to release my groin. <laughs> Good, stay with it. Squeeze, squeeze your glutes, push your hips. Two, one, swap sides. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh my gosh. Good. On your feet. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Just walk up. Just got a hundred miles an hour. We'll bring it down. So there you go. Some very simple looking exercises that are very fucking difficult when they're done right. We saw in that some real failures of my body and some improvement points to have. Then you saw obviously the strengths where I was able to stabilise things immediately when you get into exercise. This is the purpose. Try new shit. Find what's weak. Fix it. The whole point of other series, of all these exercises you're gonna see, is the fact that I am aiming to fight. 2019, we will be in a ring, we will be fighting. Not just one fight, there'll be a few, because we're gonna have to have some warm-ups, and then we're aiming to get on that YouTube undercard. That's gonna be the goal, but either way, you're gonna see me in a ring, and I have to be prepared. And that means facing up to my weaknesses, facing up to what I'm good at, facing up to what I'm bad at, and bringing it all together to make one unified level satisfaction for myself so that I'm confident enough to go into there and believe that I've done everything I can when I step in to that realm to be the best that I can be in the time frame that I'm giving myself. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, Jake. Crusader.strength on Instagram is my best place to find me, easiest place to get to me if you have any questions. Yeah. He'll also be monitoring probably the comment sections every so often as well and I will be. But if you also know somebody answers the questions or you want to see something specific, training wise or movement wise that you have a problem with, hit me up in the comment section. I will forward that to Jake and we will come back with a video with something that suits you for that because I have to work my entire body from head to toe for what's coming. So we can fit everything and anything in here. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to hit that notification bell, select all notifications so you don't miss out on these videos. New videos every Wednesday and Sunday as always. Check out on Instagram, Twitter, ask questions on there. I am very, very active on those channels. So until the next one, we'll catch you on the next upload day. Boom, baby. Lately I've been doing shit different. Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move, had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision. Fuck that, tell them bounce.